This tutorial is over 12.3. The main things in 12.3 are area of a sector, area of a segment, and arc length. These are three formulas that you will need to know. You will not be given those for the uh, final. I believe for the final you will have to know both of the formulas except for area of a segment. Area of a segment is just something that we do here at Kennedy. Sector area is found by taking pi times your radius squared. times the measurement of your arc divided by 360. Now, the one way that you can remember that you have to use pi, pi r squared is to find the area of a circle, you use pi r squared. So again, that's some, one way that you can remember here. This example that I have shown to the right, we have a radius of 16, we have an arc of 36 degrees. So to find the area, we take Ow. pi <laughs> times your radius squared, so 16 squared, times 36 divided by 360. And that is going to be the area of your sector. So again, to remember that, just take your area of a circle and multiply by the arc divided by 360. The next one, area of a segment. Area of a segment is just that little highlighted portion of that circle. It's not the it's the area of the sector subtracted from the area of your triangle, and then that is going to be the area of the segment. So for my example here, we're going to find the area of the sector first. Area of the sector we find by taking your pi times your radius squared, your radius being 12, times the arc. Now if we have a central angle of 60 degrees, that means the arc is also going to be 60 degrees, so then that's what we're going to use as our M. So this is going to be area of a sector. When we find the area of the sector, we are going to then subtract out the area of the triangle. The area of the triangle is found by taking half times the base. Now we don't know the base, so here we have a 30, 60, 90, or a, actually we have an equilateral triangle. So let's go ahead and draw this equilateral triangle really quick. We know that each one of these angles are going to be 60 degrees. We can drop down the height. We know that each one of those sides is going to be 12, so that leaves this little portion to be 6, this to be 12, and we want to find the height of that triangle. Now here we can do multiple things. You can use Pythagorean theorem, you can use your trig, or you can use your 30, 60, 90 rule. This angle up here is 30 degrees. So right now we have our short side. If we want to go from our short side to our long side, we're going to just add on a square root of 3. So we know that the height of this triangle is going to be 6 square root of 3. Now let me see what that is as a decimal. So let's say 10.4. So the height of this triangle is going to be 10.4. So let's go ahead and finish this problem. Base times height, the base being 12, do make sure you do not use 6 because we want the whole triangle. Then what you're going to do is to find the area of the segment. You're going to take this sector area and subtract it from the triangle area. Now if I were to find those, I would, um, whoops. I would be able to find the area of the segment. The next type of problem that you will have to do is find arc length. Now arc length is like the measurement around a circle or a measurement of an arc. Now the one way that you can remember that is since you're going around a circle that is also relating to the circumference. And you can tell because you have 2 pi r. And to find the circumference of a circle you use 2 pi r. So that's another way that you can remember the arc length formula. So to find arc length, we are going to go ahead and take our 3.14, multiply it by 2, and then we are also going to multiply that by the radius, which is 10. And then we are going to take our arc length, which is 90, and divide it by 360. And that's how you find your arc length.